guys and welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do a hair video so the name of my channel is curly girl tv and ugh, hair was in my mouth the name of my channel is curly girl tv and i have not done a hair video in a while so i was gonna come i just did a wash and go on my hair unfortunately i did not film it because i wasn't thinking about filming the video so i did not film it but uh, my hair is still damp right now, so I'm going to tell you guys what I did in the shower, what changed from my previous curly hair videos, and um, what I do now. So, in the shower, I... So, actually, no. Let me start from the beginning. So, I remember that I used to tell you guys that I do not shampoo my hair. I shampoo my hair like once a month. Um, and that's because I was not using gels or anything in my hair. So my hair wasn't really dirty. So I didn't need to shampoo it. Um, and shampoo just dried out my hair. It didn't matter if I was using a hydrating shampoo. It didn't matter. Any, every shampoo dried out my hair. So what I started doing is because I started using gel on my hair because my hair was just not acting right. So the longer that it gets um the flatter it gets so how you see it now is how i like to wear it when it was shorter i like to wear it like big and like an afro but now that it's getting longer um the only wash and go style that looks good on my hair is when it's like this when it's nice and tamed with gel not trying to get volume with my wash and go now is like a hassle so i just don't even worry about it i just kind of let day three and four hit if my wash and goes last that long um to get volume so this is how i've been wearing my hair or if you've seen me on the camera in the last couple of days my hair has been a bun and that's because i can i don't feel like doing my hair so i am a lazy natural <laughs> but so in the shower today i did um shampoo my hair and i shampooed my hair because since it was in that bun for about a week I've been putting gel on my hair every day to restyle it. So I had flaking going on, a lot of buildup, and it was just a mess. So I had to um, shampoo it. So the shampoo that I use is Holy Grail. I've been using it since I've been natural. Um, I don't think that it it's not, you know, all natural products. So if you're into only using natural stuff on your hair, then click off this video because this one is not for you. But I use the Hello Hydration. I hope y'all can see that. I use the Hello Hydration shampoo. Um, this one is, I mean, I have not had the best of luck with shampoos, but this one is moisturizing to me. So I can detangle my hair with this shampoo. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to detangle your hair with shampoo, but I can definitely run my hair um hands through my hair with that shampoo in my hair do i recommend it no can i do it yes um but i don't recommend that you do this if you're gonna run your hands through your hair do it with conditioner but yeah so i shampooed my hair in sections so right now i have a middle part of my hair so i split this down um the sides and i had one section here one section here and then one section um for the back and I just split my hair into three sections. That's always how I wash my hair. The back is much, e much easier to do um, when it's just one section. And then up here, I just split into two. Um, I used to do two halves. So I just split down the middle and then do this side and do this side. But um, it that hasn't been working for me. So I had to make another section to make it easier. Um, also, in the shower for my conditioner, I put the staying in the Aussie family. Well, I guess not staying in the Aussie family. I use the Aussie Moist 3 Minute um, Miracle Moist, the three times the deep conditioner, whatever it's called. I use this. Now this stuff is very moisturizing on my hair. I use this all the time. My granny actually gave this to me because she doesn't use it on her hair, so I took it from her. Um, but yeah, this stuff is good. I really, 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 really love this stuff. I kept that in my hair and then I detangled. So this is the only thing that's changed from my routine is that I started using a paddle brush. So this is the paddle brush that I use. It's really old. I had it in my drawer for years now and I never really used it until now. So I'm, I've been so used to like just finger detangling my hair with conditioner in it but my hair has been falling out in chunks y'all like 
if I can show y'all all the hair that came out of my head or that used to come out of my head, it was crazy. And I didn't understand why. So I would do protein treatments. I would deep condition overnight. I would deep condition all day. Like on my day offs, I would literally just keep the conditioner in my hair all day and that didn't even work. So I really don't know what happened. I don't know how my hair bounced back, but I did stop finger detangling. So I don't wanna say that it's because I was finger detangling because I've always finger detangled and my hair was never falling out. So I really don't know why my hair is falling out, but I know that I don't lose as much hair now when I detangle because I'm detangling with this brush. So I, while my hair is in a section, I'll just, um, de it's still wet because I just used it, but I detangle like this with the brush going this way and not this way because I remember seeing something on Instagram. I think somebody said, when using a paddle brush, if you're doing it this way, this is to detangle your curls. And if you're doing it this way, this is to define your curls. Um, I believe that's what they said. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what they said. Um, so that's just what I've been doing for like the past, I would say two months. I've been using this brush and it's been working wonders. Like I swear my wash day, day is only like 30 minutes, 45 minutes top. The, the tops depending if I'm deep conditioning or not 45 minutes like put my hair in those sections put the conditioner in it uh run some water over it and then just that brush takes out all the tangles and it's not harsh on my hair either takes out all the tangles and then I just move on to the next section so for my oh I did deep condition today so I used my the main choice ancient Egyptian I used the ancient Egyptian line um because I think it was Black Friday, they were having a really good sale. And so I bought like three products from them. I bought a shampoo, I bought another one of these because I already have one and I really like this. So I bought another one and then I bought the conditioner all from the, H, the um, ancient Egyptian line. It's all from the same line. Um, so I used that to deep condition my hair while I took a shower and I left that in for about 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out. So when I got out of the shower, um, this is where my wash and go is gonna start. So I use the Paul Mitchell deconditioner. conditioner I've been using it since I've been natural, um, since my big chop. But yes, I use this Paul Mitchell deconditioner conditioner to, um, to uh, condition my hair. So this is my leave-in conditioner that I use now. I use this one because it's lightweight. My hair is, I have fine strands, um, as you can see. And so my hair really likes um, a lightweight product. Um, it doesn't like anything heavy. So I've tried creams, heavier creams. I've tried heavy leave-in condition, conditioners, uh, English Destiny's. And it just didn't work out in my favor. So I stuck to what I know my hair likes and it is this. So this leave-in conditioner is what I used. And y'all, I know some of y'all canceled this product a while back. I know my mother told me to cancel this product, but I had it in my um, product stash and I didn't want to throw it away. So I started using it and it's been giving me great results. As you can see, look at that definition and it's really soft. Like granted, I did break the gel cast, but it's really soft. Like look at this definition, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. It's so defined and moisturized. And it's cute. Okay, so um, I have been using this Eco Styler Holy Grail OG, <laughs> like the Eco Styler Olive Oil. So if you're an OG of Eco Styler, you know that literally every natural has, has used this. I don't care what nobody say. If you are natural, if you have curly hair, you have used this at one point in time. Um, so I put this on my hair a couple months ago with this conditioner and I just let it sit. I let it air dry. I'm not even kidding y'all. It took my hair two days to air dry, but that was before my schedule change. But two days it took my hair to air dry. Low porosity is, that's how it is. If you want to know what having low porosity hair is like, it's like that. Trying to air dry and, it and it's taking your hair literally 48 hours um, to fully dry. And sometimes it's not even dry then. But yeah, I just started using this Eco Styler Gel. So literally all I did was take a section. I already had the leave-in conditioner in it. 
put um gel at my roots and then i would finger um rake is that raking yeah i would just rake the gel in my hair and then smooth it with the praying hands method like this smooth it and then move on to the next section that's literally all i did um and then after all the gel was in my hair i went in with apricot oil um i don't really know what this is really for my grandma gave it to me and so i just been using it but it says it softens fine lines and moisturizes dry hair, which is me. So um, that's why I've been using it. So it's moisturizing. I put it on there. I know you see the shine. So the leave-in conditioner, the gel, plus that oil is giving me some, some really good shine, I think. Um, but yeah, that is just my wash and go routine now. That's what I do to my hair. If you guys would like to see the wet process i guess of me in the shower um doing my hair then let me know but other than that or if you just want to see me styling it before it's dry um just let me know i it is still wet like right in here and in my roots even though i've literally been sitting here blow drying my hair for 20 minutes <laughs> but it's still wet um, and that's okay, but for the most part, it is dry. And I just want to come on camera and show you guys what it is looking like. Thank you, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.